it's almost like no, they did. They basically ratioed Genshin with Doctor Ratio. You know, it's, it's it's that's like the cherry on top of things. Hey everyone, Sean here, and today in this video I wanted to sit down and talk about what has transpired in the literal Hoyoverse uh, last few days, uh, especially for with fri last Friday's uh, stream featuring what's coming up for, uh, I forget what version we're in right now, but I think it's like somewhere before 2, <laughs> it's like 1.6 or something like that. Uh, please correct me in the uh, comments. Anywho. There is there is quite to talk about when it comes to these hot games and Hoyo, and Hoyo, especially with uh, Star Rail and Genshin, you know, and um, it's become it has become more and more apparent that um, Star Rail has become like this like new favorite right amongst um, some at least Ho Hoyo content creators, but it seems like more and more with you know with passing more passing time that in the eyes of even Hoyoverse slash MiHoYo, they just seem to really favor Star Rail in terms of uh, what gets the quality of life updates and the patches and such like that. And of course, the generosity. Um, latest being, they're giving out just this five star unit for free just like that in star rail and meanwhile genshin is just like hey you get these what 160 gems or something like wow you got a free summon one summon wow after all that time like especially all the uh the anniversary stuff and whatnot like it, we just we got like scraps in comparison to what Star Wars has been getting. Star Wars has been getting the uh, free um, t 10 pulls and stuff like that, like left and right in comparison. I mean, every uh, other patch or something like that, we get just tickets like nothing. And, and it's just crazy to see the stark contrast between these two games in terms of how much they give back to their players. It's, it's such a it's such a stark contrast. It's like night and day. It's just ludicrous, <laughs> you know? That's all I can really describe it as. And um, it's just weird, uh, almost to a degree, of how much they neglect uh, Genshin in these areas. You know, we've been asking for these updates, and yet th these updates are more likely to land in Star Rail instead for some reason, you know? There's so many little features that um, Genshin can use that I'm not gonna go over here, but um, you can take it, take a look for yourself. And of course, for um, the players, of course, will know what I'm talking about. It's it's just ridiculous of how much of this is happening between the two games alone uh, with with Genshin and Star Rail. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, like we we've barely gotten like a free four star except. Well, in Genshin, except the uh, the the night Chinese New Year stuff, um, you know, the Liwei Festival stuff, um, you know, it, that's like the only time I f feel like that's like the New Year, that's like the or the or the anniversary time. Like we get some good stuff, we gotten some skins, we gotten some form of like t uh, extra um, wishes and. Uh, you know the, the the ticket for the well, you you have to earn the right to get the free four star. But like the four stars are only the leeway characters, so that's kind of funny, <laughs> and you know, um, so on and so forth. And you know, with uh, Star Rail though, they're just gonna give out four five star characters, you know, from time to time, like nothing, you know, especially with in this sp uh, specific case. Dr. Ratio. So it's like, it's almost like, no, they did. They basically ratioed Genshin with Dr. Ratio. 
You know, it, it's, 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 that's like the cherry on top of things. And, um, you know, not to mention, like, all this hype built around the newer characters that are going to be coming out for Star Rail. It, it's, you know, really stirring up for, for those who really care about the Hoyle stuff. You know, as someone who has been playing these games for a long while now, you know, I definitely understand um, the excitement for it. I definitely do. And I also definitely um, can understand the oddities between Genshin and Star Rail and the favoritism, it seems like, over, you know, one game over the other. It's just so weird because Genshin is the bigger game. It's it's made a lot of money, ridiculous amounts of money, especially during um, the COVID pandemic. And yet, they hardly seems like give back to the players. They've uh, even though you know we've had that discussion about the Genshin interview, saying that basically they're just the Genshin is not um, you know a combat based game, even though it 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 you know, heavily features the combat. Like, why do, like, you know, I hate to bring back the points, but it's like, why why do we get these characters then? What's the point then if it's just a casual story game if, in their eyes? What's all, what's, you know what I mean? Like, and for them to say that, like, oh, you know, Spiral Abyss and such other battle content or combat um, modes bring anxiety. It's like, that's such a, that, 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 that is just, um, you know, it's 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 just ridiculous. You know, I, I hate to say the word again, but that's really what describes it. It it really is. Um, and yet, Star Rail gets all these updates. Like, oh, the combat updates, the combat stuff. We got new combat content that's permanent, unlike Genshin. Even though Genshin, like, absolutely emphasizes on. The combat it's real time in fact and it's you know very much action based and all that stuff you got the reactions the team based stuff and supports and dps's what's it what's the point of the of dps units when this is not supposed to be a combat based game like that, that all this stuff is like i don't understand that's the part i don't understand it's this like mindset of making Genshin this like casual ass game, you know, uh, marketed for a lot of people in in China, right? They you know um, move around. They're very mobile, kind of like in Japan, right? Uh, walking around on trains and all that stuff, um, and they just go on their phones, do their thing, and then get out, right? That's the kind of game they want to market towards. Um, these this this demographic, which is yes, a, a pretty massive dis, uh, demographic, because there's a large population in China and stuff. But then it's like I don't know. It's is there's such a this con the the combat system in Genshin is so fleshed out for what it is, right? For, for um a gotcha RPG, it's just disappointing definitely to see that they are not so um active on updating the that aspect of things you know there's there's plenty of fixes needed and yet they're they're also neglecting that too with some of the characters like Xinyan stuff um chi chi's energy regeneration you know there is there is a list of those sort of needed fixes but you're not gonna do it, you know. Oh, um, Sinnoh's interrupt, uh, in, uh, interruption resistance, not being there, like it's baffling of how much of these things get neglected. And you know, mind I, you know, repeat the point. Star Rail gets all this stuff, and it's becoming more apparent in this update. This this update, um, over the course of these next updates, it's going to be like eating good for you know the star rail players right and uh man it's just kind of sad to see how much genshin just gets so little in comparison to that they only get the updates in like the tcg stuff the uh serenity pot like 
all the other like casual features you know it, it's just becoming more it, it's so it, it's so obvious right of where they want to aim this game for the audience when it comes to genshin but star rail is for the combat hungry people i guess for like myself you know that's that's the that's that kind of game i guess but um i don't know man it, it's it, like there, there's, it's, there, there's a lot of words to say, but I just can't really pick out one alone to describe the contrast between these two games. You know, it's so. That's all I can say, really. It's, it's um. It, all the more disappointing. I really do like Genshin still. I mean, the story for Pontine was great. It's fantastic. Don't get me wrong on the story, and all the visual aspect of things when it comes to the cutscenes and all that stuff those parts are great um the fontaine characters uh in terms of like gameplay are fun um you know my nouvelle is still whooping ass you know and whatnot having having uh more and more characters come out navi is going to come up come out and um she looks really cool they made her really cool and i'm like uh oh <laughs> you know to that point where I'm going to spend my gems on that banner uh, soon enough. So, yeah, man, it's uh, it's something. It definitely is something, you know, and I'm not going to hold my breath for any changes in philosophy for Genshin. I think they're really uh, doubling down on the casual aspects of Genshin, and it is for, it is what it is, I guess, you know. And that's what we have to accept for right now, you know. But don't forget, hey, but don't forget, the anime for Genshin is still in the works. Um, we had that concert and blah, 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 you know. Hey, we got all this other stuff, but where's our, you know, the combat updates, the free wishes? I don't know. It's not like... Those resources can go to uh, Star Rail. I mean, you can provide that here. It doesn't take too much, right? It's not so much to ask. But anyway, <laughs> um, I, I I can guarantee you they'll uh, in Star Rail. I can guarantee you that they'll let us pick a five star for free from the uh, character banners, not just the standard ones, but the um, character banners like kind of how like how um uh sometimes grand or grand uh, faint grand order does kind of like they guarantee you a five star with uh just like what fifteen dollars or something like that um but i'm sure in this case they'll let you pick one for free or something and during the anniversary side of things something right to that degree i can damn guarantee you that um anything is going to be more grand than Genshin in terms of how how much they give back. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's really all I can say uh, for this situation. Anyway, I'm sure there there is more to say, but that's all I got in my mind when it comes to these two games. I'm still having fun, but it's becoming more and more apparent of who gets the the royal treatment almost. Who who you know gets the updates and stuff like that what what these two games are marketed towards and all that in between yeah <laughs> so anyways thank you so much for uh, tuning in for this hawk talks episode uh if you like the video hit the thumbs up subscribe for more videos like this really do appreciate the support guys um we're nearing the end of the year guys so you know um there is going to be stuff to think about for what's coming up in next year. What's in store for these two? We'll have to wait and see. Alright. Thank you guys so much. And hope to see you all in the next video. Sean out.